here we are on our second week of area. So having a quick look at our learning outcomes for the whole topic, we can see where we're up to. So, so far, we've looked at what area means and we understand that area is the amount of space inside a flat shape. We've looked at calculating area by counting squares. And we've looked at finding the area of squares and rectangles using a formula. Now, what we're going to go on to today is this. Find the area of composite shapes which use squares and rectangles. And I've just noticed I've missed the end of that bracket off there. OK, so we're going to go on, first of all, and recap what we've done before on areas of squares and rectangles. OK, so when we're looking at the area or looking at finding the area of a square or a rectangle, we are using the length and the breadth of the rectangle. OK, so the length we usually take to be the one that goes across the way. It doesn't matter which is which, though, because when we're finding the area of a rectangle, we're multiplying the length and the breadth. And it doesn't matter what order you multiply in. So it doesn't matter which one we call the length and which one we call the breadth. But remember, what we looked at last lesson was our formula for area of a rectangle. And that was A equals L times B. And remember, we must write that down every time we calculate the area of a square or rectangle. OK, so the length of this rectangle, like I say, it doesn't matter which one you call the length and which one you call the breadth. I'm going to call the long one across the way the length here. So it's going to be 10 times and the breadth down here is 4. And then we just work that out. 10 times 10 is 40 and we put the correct units on. So because we started with centimetres, our area is going to be in square centimetres. So try and use those three lines of working for calculating areas of squares and rectangles. OK, before we go any further, I've got a little challenge for you. I wonder how many different rectangles can you find that have an area of 12 square centimetres? So if you pause the video just now and have a think about that, if you've got people around you, you can discuss it with them. If you've got nobody around you, you can draw them or you can write down what size they would be. OK, we've got several different sizes of rectangle. We can have a rectangle that is four centimetres by three centimetres. And of course, it doesn't matter which way round that rectangle goes. It's still got the same area if you put it on its end. OK. You might have got a oops, six centimetre by two centimetres rectangle because six times two is 12. You might have got a long skinny rectangle, 12 centimetres by one centimetre. And if you've got all those, you might think you've got them all. But some of you may have gone into decimals. OK, if we make our rectangle even longer and even skinnier than the 12 by 1. If we make that 24 centimetres, then 24 times a half or 0 0.5 centimetres would also give an area of 12 square centimetres. OK, so we could do rectangles like 8 centimetres by 1.5 centimetres, for example. I'm not sure how far you would have got with those, but um, the three at the top here are the ones with whole numbers, and these are examples of two that use decimals. OK, now we're going to go on and do a bit of practice at finding the area of squares and rectangles. So it's just these four to practice and I want you to make sure, please, that you write down the working. So I'm going to get you to pause the video again and remember each time you write A equals L times B equals and then your numbers 3 times 2 
equals, and that would be six square centimeters in this case, because we've got centimeters there. Watch out when you get to this one, because the units are meters. Okay, so pause the video, take a minute to just work, write down your three lines of working for each of those. And here are your answers. So please make sure you've written them out correctly and you've got the correct answers. Now the next thing we're going on to is area of composite shapes. So composite shapes or compound shapes as they're sometimes called. Are made up of um, shapes that have been put together okay or shapes that have had a bit chopped off so we're looking at composite shapes today that are made out of squares and rectangles all right so our first example here i want to find the area of this shape we've got all the lengths given to us on this example in further examples we won't have all the lengths given so we need to look at how to find the missing ones Okay, so for this one, how do you think we could work out the area? If you want to pause it and discuss that and see if you can find it, you can do. Or if you don't know, you can just hang about just now and I'll tell you. So what we're going to do is split this shape into two rectangles. And we've got two choices of how we do that. We can either split it across there and we would have this rectangle and this one here, or we could split it down this way and we could have this rectangle and this one. So either way is going to give us the same answer. All right, now I'm gonna stick with this one just now because that's the one I've got drawn. So we're going to write down our formula, A equals L times B. But we're going to do it twice. We're going to do it for one and two. So for rectangle one, we've got to be very careful to make sure we get the correct length and breadth. So if we think about this rectangle, actually it's a special rectangle, isn't it? We can see that the length of it is seven and the breadth of it is also seven. So it's a square. Okay. Don't be confused and think that this length is 10. It's not because that 10 goes all the way across. Okay, so we've got seven times seven. Which is 49. Then for two, we've got, if we have a look, this rectangle here, we've got three and five centimeters as our length and breadth there. And remember, it doesn't matter which is which. So three times five is 15. You'll notice that I haven't put any units on these. I'm not putting the units on until we get our final answer. Okay, so now we say total area is 49, add 15, 9 add 5 is 14, 4 add 1 is 5, add the 1 makes 6, so total area is 64 square centimetres, and that's our answer. Okay, now you've noticed here, I only wrote the formula out once. You don't need to write the formula out for each little bit, but if you want to, that is totally okay. But I should be able to see, when I'm looking at your work, should be able to see the formula, every question that you're doing, we should be able to see what you're multiplying together and what answer you're getting for each of the rectangles that you split it into. I should be able to see that you are adding these amounts together and I should see your answer. So for this shape, it was quite straightforward because we were given all the lengths. However, moving on, if we look at this shape, we don't have all the lengths given to us there. So what are we gonna do? Well, we're just going to work them out, okay? Now, if you look carefully, we can see 
that this length all the way across here is nine centimeters. Okay, now if we look at the other lines that go across the way, we've got this one up here and this one here that's six. All right, now, if I just collect this small line here and bring it down, we can see that six and this line make nine altogether, don't they? They're the same, okay? So six add what is nine? Well, six add three is nine, isn't it? So that must mean that that one is three centimeters. And we can do the same with the lines that go down the way. We can see that this left-hand side long one there is six centimeters. We've got a four centimeter one down the right-hand side and we've got this one that we don't know. So if we think again about putting these lines together, if I move this one across, so remember this line's four centimetres. If I put that there, we can see that the one that we're looking for, this one here, plus the four centimetres make the six centimetres. So that must mean, oops, Daisy, that must mean that this one here and this one down here make six. So four add two is six. So that makes that one two centimeters. Okay, so I'm going to just lose some of these lines. See if I can lose them without losing the writing. Oh, yep, only just. There we go. So now we've got all our lengths and now we can split our shape up into two rectangles. So our choice this time again is across the way to make one and two or down the way to make one and two. Now, last time we split down the way. So I think this time we'll split across the way. So I'm going to split here, that'll be number one, and that'll be number two. So we're going to be using the formula A equals L times B, so we write that down first. And then for rectangle one, the area is, if we have a look at rectangle one here, it's a three by two rectangle. So we're going to write three times two, and the answer to that, which is six. Then for rectangle two, the area is, again, length times breadth, so have a look here. So the length of this rectangle we can see is nine centimeters. It's not six because the six doesn't go all the way across. So it's nine centimeters by four centimeters. So it's nine times four, which is 36. And then we write total area because we need to add these two together, is six add 36, or 36 add six, it doesn't matter, which gives us 42 square centimeters. All right, so again, we can see we've used the formula, we've substituted our values to find the area here and here, and then we've added the two areas together to get our total. We're going to do one more before you have a go yourselves. Okay, I've got one more example before you do your own ones. And this time we're going to find our missing length here to start with. So remember, that missing length and 10 centimetres go together to make up the total length across our shape, which is 18 centimetres. So we know that this one is 10. So 10 plus the one that we're looking for makes 18. So that must make this one eight centimetres. And then if we're looking to find the other missing length, then we're going to use the fact that that missing length adds the 10 centimetres is going to make 16 centimetres altogether. So 10 add six is 16 centimetres. I'm 
just going to write that six centimeters at the other side so it doesn't get muddled up when I start splitting my rectangle. Right, now we're going to do what I just said. We're going to split up our rectangle. So there we go. I'm just getting a better colour to do it with. There we go. Um, so we could split across the way here. Or we can split down the way here to get two rectangles. So I'm just going to stick with that one since that's the latest one that I did. So, oops. So we're going to call this rectangle one and that rectangle two. We're going to use the formula A equals L times B. And we're going to find the area of rectangle one first of all. So the area is, if we look at the length and breadth of rectangle one, we can see that it's eight centimeters by 10 centimeters. So eight by 10, eight times 10 is 80. And then rectangle two, if we have a look all the way around so we can pick out the length and breadth. It's 10 across and 16 down. So we're gonna do 10 times 16. Remember, it doesn't matter what order you do the 10 times 16. So that'd be 160. So the total area is 80 plus 160, which when you add that up, you get 240. Don't forget your units, square centimetres. Okay, so our basic process is find the missing lengths, split into two rectangles, and then find the total area. So we're just going to write down those steps to success. It probably would be a good idea for you to write these down. So our steps to success are, first of all, find the missing lengths. Then split the shape into rectangles. And then find the area of each rectangle. And then the last thing, add to find the total area. Okay, so write that down because next you're going to go on to do some yourselves. Okay, so I would like you to now pause the video and try these questions. If you've got the worksheets printed out, these are on the worksheet, they're exercise 1B. Um, it says, find the area of the following shape, all lengths are in metres. OK, so your steps to success will be to find the missing lengths. So for the first one, it's going to be that one and that one. Then split into two rectangles, either that way or this way. Find the area of each rectangle, then add them together to get the total. OK, now the last one when you get there is a little bit more tricky because you're going to have to split that one into three rectangles. OK, so pause the video and work out the area of each of these shapes. And when you've done that, you can check the answers. If you're surprised by any of these answers or if you didn't get that, then make sure you ask your teacher whether that's me or not. And make sure you sort out any problems that you might have had with that. But basically, we can see where we're up to now. So at the beginning of this lesson, we'd already understood what area is and calculated area by counting squares and used a formula. Now we've looked at finding the area of composite shapes, which use squares and rectangles. So well done. Next lesson, we're going to start by doing a recap of everything so far. And then we're going to look at start to look at finding the area of a triangle. OK.
See you then.